Real excitement and anticipation here. A cup final about to be decided. Who will hold the trophy aloft? Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Spain against England. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's the lineup for Spain. Grimaldo starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Oyarzabal plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And Morata is the main striker for this match. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And so the battle commences. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Jordan Pickford. Well, psychologically for England, it was such a difficult thing to go through at the last Euros when they lost to Italy on penalties. So near and yet so far. Oh, big chance here, Derek. Last line of defence. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Oh, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward, and Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Bellingham. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And Kane prepared to fire. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And a strong tackle.
Bukayo Saka. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Harry Kane. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Oyar Sabal. Nicely timed tackle. Saka. England using width to good effect here. Well, it could be on for him here. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Far from a good pass. Kane, real chance. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Foden. Now Harry Kane, and a timely intervention. Morata. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Now disappointing end to the move. Kane. And teammates around him. Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? Playing it short. Spot on with that tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And England with acres of space out wide. Into the centre from Walker. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Torres. And space to cross it. Carvajal. Now Morata. Really good build-up, but no end product chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect Foden and Harry Kane ready to pounce and defensive play to be applauded and under pressure that was a fine claim Morata. And a tidy tackle. Foden. And he's broken free. No problems for the keeper. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. 
And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Who's going to get on the end of it? In the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And the ball is moving again, with England looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance. And teammates to play it to. Well, let's just see again how Trippier delivered this cross into such a good area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Gabby. Morata. This might have potential. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. And a double substitution it's going to be. And deep into the penalty area. Oh my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top notch. Foden. Now with Bellingham. And nicely over the top. Nicely timed tackle. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Harry Kane. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Substitution time it is here. And easily intercepted. And Bellingham. Can he put it away? And just narrowly wide in the end. And time for the change now.
Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Carvajal. The ball with Rodri. Morata. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Now this could really lift spirits. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. And a substitution in the offing. Foden. Harry Kane. Foden. And playing it back. Opportunity here. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Promising pass. It could be up for grabs. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Kane. Really good build-up, but no end product. Just 15 minutes remaining. Gabby. Now, what can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Gabby. Might be a chance here. And it's there for him. Well, at this late stage, you've got to be opportunistic. Well, there's no way back now, I don't think. He had to finish that one. Saka. Now Harry Kane. Superb looking pass. Cross could be useful, but keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Five minutes to go. Wonderful chance, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. No problems for the keeper. Danny Olmo. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Gives it a go. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, England! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.